Hey, what's going on everyone? Okay, so really quick, we're going to do something a little bit different other than news. Um, if you guys notice, I haven't been posting a whole lot. I've been trying to stay out of politics. It's just one of those things that, you know, it's very di divisive here in this country. Um, you know, and I'm tired of being a part of that, um, that division. You know, I just want everyone to get along. Fuck politics. Fuck everything else. So, you know, I've been playing video games lately. Um... You know, I've been working out in the garage. A new game came out, so I decided to take a couple days off. That's the perk of being uh, self-employed. Um, Forza. Forza Horizon 4. Now, I never went out and pre-ordered this game, guys. I got it on the Game Pass. For any of you guys that's on the Xbox, um, I know this isn't a typical stream, which I'm thinking about, you know, streaming. My son wants to start streaming video games. Um, he's only six. He's going to be seven this year, and I'm kind of against it. You know, just because of the way I was raised, being a, uh, you know, being a child and we pioneered the internet, you know, internet safety, you know, stranger danger, don't ever give your phone number, your um, address and all that. Um, we didn't have streaming, you know, I mean, we played video games, but our generation, we was raised around video games, rot your brain. And in reality, nowadays, 2018, a lot of people's making a lot of good a good amount of money playing video games um so you know my son really wants to get into it and if he wants to get into it i might do it as well we might be like a uh a father and son stream team uh my my buddy tack man jake he streams a little bit once in a while so i think we're going to i'm gonna hit him up and start networking but anyways let's go ahead and talk about this game forza horizon 4 it's for the xbox and windows 10 um Again, guys, it came out yesterday for anyone that wants to just go to the store and buy the game. Um, it's also on the Game Pass uh, for $10 a month, which I have the Game Pass. If you pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition, you played it for a few days early. I think it was uh, the end of September, you know, you was able to play early. Um, but anyways, guys, I just want to, you know... I've been playing it for the last two days, or day and a half now. This would be the second day. Um, and I just got my very first wristband to the Forza events. For any of you guys that play Forza, you guys you guys know what I'm talking about. Forza is basically an open world racing simulator game. Um, you know, you can go anywhere. You can choose whatever races you want. you got separate classes, you know, off-roading, um, street, drift, drag, you know, anything. So, anyways... I got excited yesterday, guys. I'm a big Halo fan. I grew up playing Halo. Um, Halo 2 started out on the original Xbox. I'm pretty sure most of you guys remember that. Most of you guys, you know, my age, you know, the dads of Xbox Live. That's what we are nowadays. Um, but anyways, they had the Warthog in the store. You could buy it for like 800,000 credits, okay? And I, I, I got excited. I was like, holy shit, that's, that's pretty cool. Forza. Halo, they're two different game makers, um, you know, Halo was made by Bungie and then went to 343 Studios, um, Forza is made by Turn 10, and so it was very interesting to see that, now once you get your wristband, you have this whole, um, showcase race that you gotta do, and it's the Halo theme, it was fucking cool. What I'm talking about is you go to this location that it tells you, and you get to drive the Warthog, all right? Now, the cool thing about these showcases is something crazy is going on in the background. I know the first showcase I did was against a big boat, pontoon boat, or a big airboat, or whatever the hell it was, and it's just plowing through the fields. I mean, it was nuts. Uh, I have a showcase on lock. I haven't done it yet. I think I got to race a train. But anyways, this showcase was the Halo one, so of course, I went straight to it. You get to get in the Warthog. Your character dresses up like Master Chief. Now, we have a GPS unit on this game called Arna. She talks to you. You know, not only does she talk to you, but she knows your name. It's kind of freaky. Like, every time a new race pops up, she says, Hey, Wayne, check out this race. But anyways, Arna turns into Cortana. Cortana's voice and everything. Now, the cool thing about this race was what was going on is you had the Halo Pelican flying above the map being chased by two banshees and you had to race to the beach to uh to get away now the cool thing was that i thought is like as you're doing this race you're hearing cortana talk 
and she's telling you about the primitive uh, housing, which she's talking about, you know, the way we live here in 2018. Um, and then when we, you went through a tunnel, she said, man, this is a very weird looking cave. I mean, you guys got to remember these people are, you know, thousands of years advanced into the future. Um, so anyways, if you guys are playing Forza Horizon 4 and you guys like playing Halo, I think it would be pretty cool for you guys to uh, check out. You know, it was, it was definitely fun. It makes me wonder why are they putting Halo into uh, Forza. Again, like I said, they're two different game companies. Maybe they're letting us know something. Maybe there's something to, uh, a theory in there to, to debunk to let us know about the next Halo game. We know that Halo's getting ready to drop another one called Infinity. There's not a whole lot of information out about it. Um, you know, if you sit there and you watch all the reviews, watch the trailer, and then other streamers and game shows talking about video games, you'll learn um, that, you know, it looks... It could very well be a um, open world battle royale, Halo style. I know that sounds a little far fetched, but if you guys think about it, you know most of these major games nowadays are, you know, hitting that battle royale scene. It started off with PUBG and Fortnite, and if you're on the PlayStation, you have H1Z1. Uh, there's a lot of indie companies that's getting ready to make uh, battle royale games as well. So, when you're watching the trailer of the Halo, you know, it's just a big open world. You see nature running around. You see the Banshee, you know. I mean, just big open world. It kind of just puts speculation. Is Halo going to follow through with the, um, you know, the Battle Royale, the big open world Battle Royale? Or is it going to be more like a Fallout in Skyrim setting, you know, where it's a big open world and you get to choose which missions you want but then it gets more detailed as like upgrades and stuff like that so again guys this is very interesting um again if you guys are watching my channel for politics i'm done i'm done with politics um i mean i'm always watching it but you know i'm just tired of talking about it because it just nothing changes guys it's just causing more of a division in this country so you know what everyone needs to get along get on the xbox and play some video games and have fun Regardless of political agendas, political views, uh, genders, you know, fuck all that, man. Get on a damn game and play. All right, guys. I'll see you later.